UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next is the UFC lightweight division bout. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. To get us started, Ladies and here is Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Leving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Kuwait City, Kuwait, blood. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Put your combinations together. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just out of range with that right hand. 
what does he do now that he's back? Throwing that jab, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now watching on the ground. You knew that he was gonna attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. And they both stand up. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it, though. Yes. All oh, right to the mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, Try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Close guard. Back to the feet now. Good punch land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Land. Now we get back to range. How good is that right hand? Huge block there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh. Place from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, here we go with round two. Real quick leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, an obvious 
limp there. His leg hurting for certain. He engages in the single follow tie. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets touched by that kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. What a punch. Big leg kick land. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. Right on the button. Collar tie here. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he eats a knee. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Punch over the top. A oh, little single collar tie there. Beautiful kick. Shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for the clinch when you... Oh! Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. And they separate. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Whoa! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. One minute. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 30 seconds to go in the round. Let's go, guys. Work. 20 seconds to go round two. Seconds to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
Yeah, press them all. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, huge block. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Circling to his right. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just misses with the straight left hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Look at the turnover in that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch land. Ooh. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Connects with a right. <laughs> Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, nice right hand. <laughs> Lee's head kick is blocked, no damage there. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, but able to work it into the takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Powerful leg kick land. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, so next round underway, admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Nice leg kick land. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Beautiful body kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Body kick now by the Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice oh. right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And they separate. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kiss there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent was the fool a lot tonight. This wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right hand. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Where has the official decision? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.